Uh, quick couple things to tell you. So I made my last bend. Um, you can cut out some 2x4s. I have this 6x6 that I ripped up, uh, made this cut out. So my bird feet is actually physically stuck on here. So you're just going to have to be nice and gentle, open it up. And take it off. With that being said, I mean, this could be up a little bit, but it all depends on the thickness of your plexi that you're using. Um, the one thing I forgot to tell you was, before you start uh, bending, malfunction, or not malfunction, manipulating, you want to make sure that you take off all the protective coating. Um, otherwise, you're, we're, you'll have an issue there. So, that's basically what it looks like. And then, how I mount it to the window, you can go ahead and drill two holes right through here. I went and bought suction cups. Uh, they just have a peg on it. You can see the peg. Uh, what I chose to do, because it went through all this and then I had to drill through and crack it, get out your torch and a nail, heat the nail up, burn a hole here, burn a hole there, so you'd have two holes here and here, and then uh, have your suction cups, and then they go through, and this rests on your window, so this is actually on the back of your window, fill this up with bird food, and you can see through here, clear as day, so... Hope that uh, helps out, that it's informative, and you try and make yourself your own bird feeder. Uh, if you did want to try and glue these corners, they do make plexi glue. Uh, you do have to have a tight um, seam here, otherwise you could also use acetone. Uh, I suppose a guy could try and use some hot glue or something like that, but uh, I haven't used anything and it's been pretty good, except for, like I said, I had a big fox squirrel jump in and ended up breaking the seam here. But, uh, so that's all I got for you. Thanks.